doing very, very well on this very rainy day here in England, or as I've always said, wherever you're watching in the world. Right, um, in today's video, it's a update on my the progress I've made with my Russian infantry army project. Yeah. The first box, because I've never paint, painted Russian before, was always going to be an experiment. Um, the I started off with the Grenadiers, 18 of them, in with that big tall plume on top of their Shako. Shako? Yeah. Um, not entirely happy with the outcome of the first 18. I think that's because the white stands out a lot against the green, the white strapping across the chest. And so they've obviously got a, like a bedroll across the chest as well. And not entirely happy with them. But I will turn the camera around and I shall um, show you. Right, folks. Um, here we have an empty space. I'll just bring some across. This is... Let me just get a bit of cork out rather than keep handling the miniature. Right. I've painted several... Well, 18 of these so far. Like I said, the plume, the weapon, backpack, the pot, and the saber, and the sword knot. Oh, yeah, very, very, really impressed with that. The red uh, collar, cuffs, and the facial details. Really, really pleased with them. There you go. But to me, the white strapping is... I, don't, I, I really am unsure about them. As you can see... I've done 18 of them. Yeah, they look okay, but I don't know whether it's just me being me because I'm... I don't know. Um, are they passable? Yes. Could I do a better job? Yeah, I don't know whether it's because of the... the I'm not going to pick faults in the pay miniatures, God forbid. But um, I'll just bounce the camera again and I'll show you what I mean by the... The moulding. Now, Perry Miniatures, as we always know, has been is absolutely fantastic. This is another one I've done. To me, yeah, that's okay. But the leather work, strap, yeah, that's okay. But this is what I mean by To me, there's not a lot of detail in the actual strapping there. I will bring one up of just literally... Not that one. This one here. This is the Jaeger in um, forage cap in the summer dress. Red collar and cuffs and a red... Um, epaulet, is it an epaulet? Shoulder strap. Denotes the 27th Regiment. Uh, yeah, the, the, I haven't written the 27th yet. This was an experiment, this one. But the facial details, really, really pleased with them. The black strapping against the green, to me, works better than the white does on the ones over there. But yeah, that's the update so far. I've literally got... Um, I've started... I will move the camera again. I do apologise. Six, you got. I do six at a time. I did do that one there. Just as an experiment to see how I painted that one. And he, to me, he's come out a lot better than those guys there. So I've got the commands to um, um, spray. I've got another right, 12 there. And six there. Um, are they enjoyable to paint? Yes, very much so. Am I a bit concerned with... I think it's because the white stands out too much against the green. I've done French and British, as you know. And to me, I enjoy painting French and British more than two Russians at the moment. Uh, but I will continue. I will... Like I said, these first 18 was a bit of an experiment. 
just to see how they would go. But yeah, overall, so far, so good. Um, thank you very much for watching. Do um, give me any comments, feedback, where you think I can do better with the Russians. Um, yes. Always encourage the feedback. If you got any questions, comments, whatever you want to say, do uh, do let me know. Put it in your doobly doo down below. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all, for all my latest subscribers, the people watching, clicking the old thumb button, making a bell ring. So yeah, thank you very much. I've been the Minish Paint, and you guys have been brilliant. Bye.